Well, let's review Dragon Quest I episode 29, Baran's Rage. I just finished watching the episode. You can watch my reaction on patreon.com slash Dragon Quest Poppy. Definitely check it out because this episode was so damn good. And we're going to talk about it right now. I'm Poppy and this is Dragon Quest Poppy. And please, before anything else, help me out with trying to get more attention, you know? Get more people involved into bringing more souls into Dragon Quest Die by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that notification bell. Thank you so much for doing that. I really, I really appreciate it. Okay, guys, this episode was so freaking good, dude. We got to, first of all, we got to learn more about Larhart. He told his story um, because, you know, he, he saved Pop and Hunkel from Borahorn because Borahorn was a freaking loser. And Hunkel accepted dying so that he could let Pop live. And Pop, you know, they kind of had a bro moment between each other. Like, no, I should die. No, I should die. But at the end of the day, uh, Borahorn really wanted to kill Hunkel. So Hunkel accepts because he just, you know, he's like, you know what? Th th I deserve this. So Borahorn was going to kill him. And freaking a spear just goes right through Borahorn's freaking mouth. And Larhart was the one that killed him because basically holding a hostage is not what a dragon master would do. It's, it's unforgivable, as he says. So anyways, then after that, he tells his story to Hunkel and Pop and as to why he hates humans. And man, it makes sense. Poor kid, you know, his dad, Darkling dad died very, you know, young and his human mother got, you know, treated like an animal because she has a darkling son, you know, and he saw all of it. And eventually she died of illness. And he was so young when it happened too. And he was just, he hated humans because of it. And that's when Mas Master Bran found him and took him in. And... You know, when Larhar opened his eyes, he saw that Hunkel and Pop was crying because they felt so bad for him. And freaking Larhart was like, wow, you guys really are amazing. I've never met humans like you guys. You guys really have. Basically, he said that he's he's basically saying that he they changed his heart, you know, which was cool. And before Larhart passed away, he told Hunkel, like, please. Take my spear, take my armor, please. I, I, I want you to take it, you, you know. Please convince Master Baran, maybe you can, maybe you actually can, sort of thing. And dude, Hunkel accepts, dude. He's like, I will. And they became bros for life, dude. And so, yeah. Then it freaking goes and shows uh, Crocodile and uh, Leona preparing for Master Baran to show up. And he shows up, and it's terrifying, and Crocodine and Leona find out that Pop actually went to go fight Baran and the Dragon Masters. And Baran was like, who sent him? Was it you, Crocodine? That's low for you, bro. And he's like, if it wasn't you, was it you? You know, talking to Leona. And they were both kind of like ignoring him, like, oh my gosh, dude, Pop went to go fight the freaking Dragon Masters and him, wow. And they just totally gained so much damn respect for Pop, dude. And but and freaking Crocodile had a moment. He's like, wow. And he basically repented and he repented of like what he felt like and said to, to Pop and just really, really just forgave humans and him and just himself and just totally regained a, the spirit of just 
just motivation, basically, because he felt that from Pop and his actions. And that, because of that, he was like, Baran, bring it on, dude. Bring it on. And Baran does. And he giga breaks him. But, you know, Leona helping Crocodile out, full heals him. And Crocodile was like, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it again. It's either me or you that runs out of energy first. Who's What's it going to be? And, and Baran hits him again. And Crocodile survived again. And before he was going to take another freaking giga break, uh, Leona was going to go heal him, but Baran stopped her with a zapple. And was like, if you move again, I will kill you. I swear to God. After that, Dai felt Baran's presence. And basically, with the overwhelming aura that he was feeling, he lost control of his consciousness. And basically became kind of like a zombie. And so he broke out of his cell and started to leave his cell. And at that exact moment, again, Baran was going to attack Crocodile. And Leona started moving. And Baran was like, you fool. And he cast Zapple and almost freaking fries Leona. But a spear came out of nowhere and took the lightning blast. And Baran was like, Larhart's spear? Impossible. Why are you trying to t uh, stop me, Larhart? And he looks over and sees Hyunko and Pop. And he's like, no, you, you're telling me you guys bested the Dragon Masters? Impossible. And they're, and Hyunko's like, we're, we're living proof as to why, as to us winning, obviously. And Baran's like, I see. So you killed Larhart and took his armor. And Hyunko's like, no, he actually gave me this armor. And he wanted me to stop you. And Baran's like, lies. He's like, no, it's true. Hyunko was like, Baran, you need to stop. You need to show your human heart to your son die. Just like Sol Sol Sola would have wanted. You've experienced the worst in humans and the most beautiful part of humans at the same time. And to forget that pain, you decided to discard it all aside and hate all humans. But what would Soalo say in this situation? Repent, basically, sort of thing. And Baran was so damn pissed that he literally went freaking Dragonoid mode. And the transformation was so damn epic that literally everyone was like, oh my gosh. And even his power literally blew up all the freaking Hydras in the field. And, you know, it, it, he was just so damn just powerful. And uh, everyone was like, uh-oh, here we go. And that's basically where it ended. But it was such a damn good episode, dude. It was so good. Uh, super fun. Super well animated. Um, not the best, but still pretty pretty damn good. Um, and yeah, just a lot of character growth. A lot of just character depth and great moments. Ah, what a great episode, man. Fantastic episode. I very very much enjoyed it so anyway that's basically it um so yeah let me guys let me know what you guys think let me know what you thought about the episode let me know what you thought about the video and uh yeah i'd appreciate it again if you please help me out by liking this video subscribing to the channel and ring that notification bell and i especially want to thank my patrons Thank you guys so much for being patrons. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all the great conversations we have. And guys, if you want to be a part of this journey and be a hero in my hero tier on Patreon, you get so many benefits. You get our, the, the videos one week before they release on YouTube. You get access to all my reactions of these episodes and of the new episodes that come out every single week. And 
you get access to chatting with us. You know, I ask questions, we ask questions, we talk about Dragon Quest related stuff all the time, and it would just be awesome to have you there. So anyways, if you're interested, head on over to patreon.com slash dragonquestpoppy. Anyways, thanks again, guys, for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Peace out!